Welcome back to my channel, it's Diana. In today's video, I am going to take this t-shirt and I'm gonna add safety pins and I'm gonna distress it. And I'm gonna show you how. I was inspired by some pictures on Pinterest. Stay tuned. I use a dress form to help me make clothing. So I have this soft dress form. It has wheels on the bottom. I'm not gonna show it to you, but. This has been very helpful in me, for me when I'm making jewelry and clothing. And I bought this a very long time ago. I used to work for a retail store and unfortunately that store went under and they sold all the fixtures to the employees. And I was able to get this dress form for $10. And it's going to be very rare for people to find dress forms for $10. So I got really lucky. And I also got a rolling wrap for 5 bucks. So I know that helped me later on in life as a stylist because I knew that's what I wanted to be. So, here's a t-shirt. I wanted to get a black one that had a little bit of bleach on it. This one was store-bought. I bought it at TJ Maxx. I think the tag is still on here. I got it for $9.99. It's a size small and the brand is called Caution to the Wind. I don't know if you could see the the bleach on it but this is kind of like the style I actually wanted to make this myself but I saw it at TJ Maxx this morning when I was out Christmas shopping and I was like you know what this is gonna save me a lot of time so I just bought it so I have a lot of safety pins too that don't really work anymore I have them in here so I'm gonna place them on the t-shirt and I'm also going to sew the sleeves and just fold them up twice and just tack them down because I want it folded. I don't want it to just be laid out like that. It looks cuter when it's folded. So I'm going to do that. So if you want to get a t-shirt, get any color you want. It doesn't matter. I prefer black. Get some safety pins. You can buy safety pins at the 99 cent store. You can buy them at Walmart. And I also have some chain too. Just leftover chain that I don't use anymore for jewelry because it's too small. Oh my god, this camera is so awesome. You see how it just zoomed in? Alright, let's do the safety pins real quick. Ooh. Wait. Maybe I have to hold it up like this. For those of you who don't know what a safety pin is. Just kidding. Oh, it doesn't want to zoom in. There it goes. Alright. Safety pins, chain, t-shirt. Let's get started. I have a board on Pinterest titled safety pin looks and I'm just going through the pictures. Let me see if you guys can see it. These are just some of the pictures that I was inspired by. And I'll post, the, I'll post these pictures on the video. And I'll also link my board if you guys also want to try this project. And if you guys do, tag me so I can see them. Okay, so one of my favorites is... Let's see. Oh, this is the one I wanted to recreate. This black one right here. And I also want to recreate this one too. It's just a, a men's black blazer. And I want to go to the thrift store and get that one and just go crazy. So today we're gonna try this one. We're gonna add some holes and we're gonna distress it. Oh look, you could see it, cool. That's the one we're gonna do. Oh, and also I didn't mention on the supplies, also get some scissors, some thread, and some needles if you're gonna fold the sleeves. And I am, so I need the thread. So I'm gonna put this closer. And I'm gonna start. So, get ready. We can do fashion on a budget. We don't need a lot of money, guys. For those of you who are Mexican, do you guys remember this? And <laughs> you know what game this is? So like if you're pregnant, I don't really remember how it goes, but some voodoo Mexican thing. Like if it goes up and down, it means you're having a boy or if it goes the other way, it means it's a girl. Do you see how that changed? It was going in a circle. Now it's going up and down. Woo! All right, let's get started. So I'm just going to fold the sleeve up. 
So that's one, two, and three. So three times, and then I'm gonna do this, turn it upside down, and what, it, what you wanna do is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but see this thread line right here and this? I wanna align this, and that's where I'm going to sew it. Sorry if you were just seeing my lips. So we're gonna get the thread and the needle, and we're gonna go from inside the shirt. Not from the top, but the inside. And we're just gonna tack it. Be careful not to poke yourself. And we're just gonna do this about three times. And just make sure you tighten it up and just pull it a little bit. Don't pull it too much, because then you'll break the thread. So just one more time. And then from the inside, you're just gonna create like a, a loop right here. So it's kind of like you're locking it and making sure that the thread doesn't come out. So just loop it around three times to lock it in. Now get your scissors. And then just do the same thing to the top. A T pin. I'm gonna put this through the shirt and just put it right there so that the folding part doesn't come undone and I'm just going to tie this thread tie it into a little knot and start the process over on the top And this part I'm going to line because see there's a crease right here already. So I'm going to use that as a starting point. Just make sure that this is... Okay. And now remember I said go from the inside. So you see the before and after? This is the sleeve that's folded up. 
and this is a sleeve that's not. So let's try, let's fold the other side. Okay, on to the next step. Both sleeves are tacked in, so let's move on to the safety pins. Or actually, let's see. Yeah, let's move on to the safety pins. So where do you guys think I should add chain to? Because I have chain, my jewelry tool. I think it's good just like that. So stay tuned because I'm gonna try it on. This is the final look. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And what I'm gonna do is back this up a little and I'm gonna tie it. So it's a t-shirt too. A little crop top, having fun, go to the beach, night on the town, wherever you live. Cause you probably still can we can out here because most places are closed or have a night out in your room like i am doing right now but check this out all you need are safety pins some chain creativity your imagination some thread scissors and some needles and that's it check this out check this out 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let me know if you guys want to see any more DIY clothing because I have a lot of ideas. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Bye.